having a superb day obviously because he's doing that very loudly I hope that's okay for you lately where I live in Oslo Norway it's been like 26 degrees Celsius and super sunny every day I've gotten a tan my hair's gotten lighter and that means one thing summer is here I asked you guys on Instagram what summer video you guys wanted to see the most and you guys voted on DIY summer activities fun stuff you can do DIY so that's what I'm doing today so I hope you guys are very excited about that also, this video is, of course, a collaboration with the amazing Pandora Hobby, which just released their fancy collection, which I'm in love with, and I'm going to be using a bunch of those products in this video, which you can only get at Pandora, so if you live somewhere else where they don't have Pandora, then I'm sorry about that. You can shop Pandora's craft supplies in their stores in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. You can also find their online store, which I will link down below, where they have all the products and inspiration and a bunch of fun stuff and oh if you haven't already then make sure to click the subscribe button to join the coolest family on youtube right now which is the mates really fam so you know if you want to be a part of something special then and of course make sure to put on these post notifications so that you can be one of the five that's, that's ten five first people that's five that's one whatever five first people to comment on this video which of course the comment i will respond and like and check out your channel and all of that fun stuff so, all right i think that's all make sure to subscribe to me follow me on instagram and let's get right ahead and get into this video What about combining two of the hottest trends right now? Plastic wear and fanny packs. And make a splash proof accessory perfect for summer. To recreate this, you'll need one meter times half a meter of clear vinyl, a all-purpose zipper, pins, the printed pattern, I will leave the link in the description box down below, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a sewing machine. And this is my Singer Fashion Mate sewing machine, which I got at Panduro. And I really like this sewing machine because I am a beginner and it's really, really forgiving, easy to use, and it looks really pretty as well. So first off, you want to cut your clear vinyl so that it matches the pattern pieces. And then find the front piece, make sure your zipper fits inside the little zipper pocket. And if it doesn't, then just make the pocket a little bit deeper. Then sew both sides and the bottom together with the vinyl. Now you want to pin together the front and top piece so that it's no longer flat, but starting to take the shape of a fanny pack. This may be a little bit hard, but just bear with me. Now measure how much fabric you need for the fanny pack to go comfortably over your head, and either over your shoulder or hips. Mine was about 6 centimeter wide times 40 centimeters long. And then you want to go to your sewing machine again and sew the folded band together. And to attach the band to your fanny pack, you want to sew it with a zigzag stitch on both sides to the front of the fanny pack facing towards you. Next, and this is very important, open your zipper and tuck in your band. And then pin the back piece onto the edges of the front of the fanny pack and sew all around the edge making sure you're not sewing over the band only where the band attaches to the fanny pack so basically now we're sewing the fanny pack inside out once you're done sewing flip the fanny pack inside out well if it's already inside out then it's probably outside in anyway close the zipper and enjoy your splash proof fanny pack this fanny pack is amazing to bring to the beach or to the poolside where you can keep your phone and your keys and it doesn't hurt that it looks very cute Are you a sucker for finding cute ways to showcase fruits and berries? I have a feeling most of us are. Let's make a light up flamingo tray to store all your favorite summer nummies. You'll need one big fancy rectangular piece, five packs of fancy bracelets, all from Panduro, and the protective gloves as well, baking paper, craft knife or a pair of scissors, double-sided tape, clear jewelry glue, and fairy lights. Firstly, peel off the plastic wrapping around the board and place the board on top of some baking paper where you've traced out a simple flamingo drawing. Put your oven on 180 degrees Celsius, put your bracelets on some baking paper and warm them up in the oven for about three to four minutes. Take one and one out of the oven with your heat protective gloves on. And if you're under 13, I wouldn't recommend doing this alone without an adult helping you out because this can be kind of hard. It's very easy to burn yourself. And then just start forming the piece so that it matches the outline of 
the flamingo that you have on the baking paper. One after the other, create the whole outline of the flamingo. And after everything is cooled, you can glue the pieces to the board and to each other with your clear jewelry glue. Lastly, take your double-sided tape and attach it all around the outside of the flamingo. Peel off the protective plastic and attach your fairy lights right on. This is turning out so pretty, oh my god. To hide the cord, I put it under the outline of the flamingo's feet. And to make sure the board could still stand on its own without being crooked, I added these small wooden pieces from Pandora and I just painted them. And they now act as the board's legs, kind of. And after that, you're done! Now just fill it up with your favorite summer goodies. I use watermelon, strawberries, and blueberries. And when you need to wash the tray after you use it, simply wet a paper towel and wash off the inside. But seriously guys, how cute did this turn out? I mean, I'm proud. <laughs> is one of my favorite games to play in the summer. Mainly because it's fun with everyone, family, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, whoever you'd like. To recreate this cacti ring toss game, you'll need a glue gun, three flower pots, green paint, or spice it up with some other cool colors, green spray paint, three big and one small cardboard plates, a pair of scissors, and a craft knife. Firstly, go ahead and spray paint all your boards green and let them dry for about an hour. Cut out two identical 8 cm wide pieces and draw two to three cacti arms onto the board and cut them out as well. And to give all the cacti pieces a little bit more of a realistic look, make sure to round off the top. Cut one of the 8 cm wide pieces in half lengthwise and start decorating with paint. I did three different designs on all the cacti, so feel free to play around with stripes, dots, and zigzags. Now hot glue the long pieces together as so, waiting for that to dry completely and then hot gluing the cacti arms on as well. Add a lot of glue to the bottom of the cacti and put it into the pink pot or whatever color your pot has. Oh, I'm gonna get so many comments about that, I just said that. Mm, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> and lastly, fill the pot up with some sand so that the cactus can't fall over while you're playing ring toss. Now just grab some rings and some friends and get ready for endless hours of fun. A modern art looking bowl made in less than five minutes. No way, right? You'll need a silver glass and porcelain pen, a tall round object, the oval fancy piece from Panduro, baking paper, and heat protective gloves. Firstly, lay your oval fancy piece on some baking paper and put it into your oven on 180 degrees for about three to four minutes. After that, carefully take it out and quickly press it down on top of your round, tall object and shape it into a bowl. Wait for that to cool and once it has, grab your silver glass and porcelain pen and start coloring the edges only of your bowl for a more expensive looking look. Yucky! Now just fill it up with whatever you like. It's perfect for storage in your room, ice cream, lollipops or just some good old Oreos. love summer because the weather is warm and the sun's out. But sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a cool down to make sure you're not overheating. Let's make a emoji heart ice bucket. You'll need a bucket, white spray paint, paintbrushes, a gold glass and porcelain pen, pink and gold paint, a acetate sheet, an exacto knife, and tape. Firstly, go ahead and remove the handle of your bucket and spray paint the bucket white. Now either cut out a heart of the acetate sheet or if you have one, you can use a heart punch, which is just much easier to use and faster. Cut out a square around the heart cutout and add tape all around the edges to make it sticky. Now just stick that onto your bucket and start painting with pink paint inside the heart cutout. I actually ended up using a sponge brush because I found that worked better than a normal paintbrush, but just do what you prefer. And repeat this until you have as many hearts on the bucket as you'd like. 
After about half an hour of drying time, you can peel off the stencil we made and start drawing on the tiny, tiny stars of the emoji heart with either a glass and porcelain pen or gold paint. And last but not least, fill your bucket up with ice and put your favorite drinks in and enjoy this amazing creation. Last but definitely not least, it's also important to let your creativity free this summer in your free time. Let's DIY some fruit crayons. You'll need a fruit chocolate silicone mold, crayons and an exacto knife. Firstly, peel off the wrapping of all your crayons. There are a few different mechanisms to this, so just do the one that you feel takes the shortest time. Then cut the crayons into small pieces and put them into each little fruit in the mold. And if you'd like at this time, you can also add some scent. I didn't have any, but that would be really cool if the crayons actually smelled like fruit as well. After that, set your oven to about 120 degrees Celsius and let the crayons melt for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once I took the crayons out, for me the dry time was about one hour to one and a half hour. So it takes a little bit of time, but after the crayons are cool, just pop them out of the mold and you can start using them right away. And these of course work just as regular crayons, they're super nice to draw with and they're very very cute as well. <laughs> Alright you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching all these summer DIYs and that you got really into the summer spirit and are excited about summer. Make sure to tell me down below when you have your summer vacation and if you're gonna make any of these DIYs and I would love to read all your comments. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone!